weekend here, yeah, very lovely place, very lovely farms and villages and that sort of thing. This village is, uh, I think it's called Bucknell, Bucknell, it's near Bist, kind of near Bista, near the Maitoi, I think it's the M40. I just stopped to eat some hula hoops. I really like this village, it's quite nice. You'll see, it's sort of people's gardens, there's a little dog there. They want to, sounds like they want to fill this entire field with a new, an extension of Bista. Bista's like a mile over there, the, the original Bista that I remember. It's the size of that development. So that's Bista is like right over here. And that's there is probably that new shit over there. Um, yeah, that's the road I came down, so that'd be up there maybe. That's terrible. Ascension process uh, spiritually, um, there's an uh, towards ultimate truth. There's an ascension process towards uh, relative truth within the within the video game, within the simulation, within this dream that we are living. There's a um, there's a ladder of relative truth, and at the bottom are those we were talking about earlier that really just don't get it. Totally brainwashed. Um, and uh, they're just, you know, automatons, they're robots in service to the controllers. Uh, and then as we go up the ladder, people that are more and more red pill that really understand what's going on. They've gone down the rabbit holes and they've come to realize that what's going on here is of major significance right now in history. We're, we're alive in a time that is probably one of the most fascinating and important times to ever incarnate. Uh, on earth. Uh, we're going through something very major here. And uh, the more you catch on to what's really going on, the more important it becomes that you see the importance of clarity. You see the importance of understanding what's going on, because it really, in some ways, is a life or death matter. 
um, whether you will um, ascend to the next um, level of experience, if you know, we'll call it the fifth density, whether you will tune into the frequency that will ascend, or whether you will um, more or less, let's just say, be left behind. Um, and so that's that's what I mean by the arc. And I'm, I forget where the, what your question was. I just kind of rambled. But <clears throat> you know, are you are you ready? Do you have the courage? And and uh, are you ready uh, to take the next step to to ascend to the next? In, in the law of one, it talks about harvest. You know that that it, uh, souls are harvested for the next level, for the next density, for the next dimension, um, which sounds a bit harsh in a way you know that we're but in a way in another way it's very accurate in uh another discussion you know, that we are you know crops for um and be, can be harvested but graduation is another word are you are, are you ready to graduate you know step on the arc and graduate to the next level of, uh, of uh, ascension <clears throat> i also love that question about you know how many of uh, people who appear human actually are. Um, how could we and, know? There's the next one. And if that's true, how could we actually, like dealing with a robot in Westworld, how do you know who's a guest from the outside and who's a robot in, West, in, in Westworld? You wouldn't really know. Right, exactly. Um, and, uh, and that is, I think, very valid. I mean, taking the video game metaphor, um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a gamer. I don't play them, but there's what's called non-player characters in there, which are which are just function robotic functionaries that, you know, here's your wine, sir. You know, that's not a character that you interact with at all. They're just keep the keep the mechanism moving, and uh, they're very popular in memes now to have this gray-faced non-player NPC non-player character right. with an expressionless face. You know, and that's that's valid. That is very valid. And um, I think that we're dealing with with that. Uh, and uh, and that's another uh, another level to that, really. And that is when we get into the controllers, those who are really the uh, the ones the ones running the world um, are not human either. Now, I, I'm not even sure what I mean by that, but they don't they they look human and so we expect them to have human emotions and um, empathy and things like that but they don't there's no wiring for that whatsoever they have no conscious no empathy no kindness no compassion no nothing they are robotic they are evil robots um, and those are the people that are in control of the world and that's who, that's who we are battling that's who we are at war with who are at war with us we don't choose to be at war. They're at war with us, and we either choose to fight back or not. Um, so yes, absolutely. <clears throat> There's um, we could take this in so many different directions. Sorry to inter but interrupt. I just wanted to say that was one of the biggest things for me twenty plus, about years ago when I made that same understanding. When I realized that the ones in control are making the choices that they're making because they're not actually human. That explained every. I didn't like it's like you. I don't know what they are, where they come from, but I just knew. Okay, that it, the explanation is valid, and it yeah. and it, it 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 took it allowed un uh, thoughts that didn't make any sense or or things in the world to be haven't. That's a valid explanation, and I could move on with the next step of the journey. It was like just just understanding that was like crossing a river, and it's like okay, I can move on. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the mistake, you know, we all have made and most people are still make in, as far as believing what's really going on now, understanding what's really going on. There's this background program that says, well, one human would never do that to somebody else. That can't, can't possibly be their plan. They can't possibly be planning mass genocide for the earth. Humans don't do that to each other. Of course, our history he says otherwise, but they, we still have this idea that, oh, well, nobody would really do that. Nobody would really want to kill babies. You know, well, nobody would really want to do all these evil things. Nobody would really traffic children and, you know, torture them to drink their blood. Nobody would really do that. No human would do that. Well, that's true. These people aren't, these, these entities are not human. They don't have the wiring that we expect um to find in others just because we feel it in ourselves um right. and so uh just because it has some something has a, a 
a form that looks like a human body doesn't mean it's human. 